my name is Claire and I'm the founder of Student RDH Dental Hygiene Board's review solution for local anesthesia and national boards. Today, we are continuing with our series of how to maximize your score on any exam because we can always do just a little better to pass the exam or the national boards or the local anesthesia boards because it's important to just get it done in one shot and hopefully you don't have to pay for it again and do it again. The four tips were find a keyword, pretend you're reading text in a new language, meaning please slow down. Today we are going to look at number three, which is play a true false game when you see a question that is asking the exception. You will see what I'm talking about. So exception, I mean, some questions have not, false, except, or things related to that built into the question. That means if there are four answer choices, one is false and you have to detect that one. Why is it so hard for us to do this? Why do we keep making the mistake of choosing the correct answer when we're supposed to choose the incorrect answer? And I'm sure you all have this experience running to your professor saying, I don't understand my grade. I thought I had it correct. What's going on? Well, because sometimes we make those mistakes. This is because our brain is trained to detect the correct answer. If you think about any exam, about 75% of them are built with the statement would be asking you to choose the correct answer, which of the following is true. But this is the reverse. And because 75% of the questions are like that, you know, when you see questions like that, your brain gets tricked sometimes. To avoid this very serious mistake, very simple strategy. It says force yourself to answer true or false for each of the answer choices and find the false statement. By this, I mean, slow down first of all. When you see something like that, you will say, okay, alarm sign, let me play this true and false game. Let's look at an example and see what I mean here. Except I will give you one minute to try to solve this problem. Okay, sorry, that was not one minute, but I hope we have found our answer. The answer is, oh, before, sorry, we go to the answer. Let's just do it together. We're talking about root planning. And the roots are covered by cementum, which are much softer than the enamel. So when we work with the root, we have to be gentle. We have to be more careful to not completely remove the cementum because the cementum is very important, a part of the periodontium. So A, the strokes should be lighter with lateral pressure. True. Okay, let's not jump into collision. Let's just play this game, true or false. The strokes are short. Do we want short strokes or long strokes? Usually, actually, we want long strokes. Short strokes, forceful short strokes usually are to remove tenacious calculus, so this is actually false. The strokes should be overlapping. Yes, this is true. And the strokes have a lighter grasp. Yes, true. Now we have found our answer, which is B. This was as simple as just playing this game. It just takes maybe 10 more seconds. And now you are sure that you did everything you could to make this question work and seal the deal. I hope this helped you. See you again in many mini review courses from Student RDH Dental Hygiene Board's review channel on YouTube. Or the next one is our number four tip. So stay tuned. Also check out our free trial, our blog, and those two courses that we have to help you pass the boards. Thank you. Get up!